Unit 5, Lesson 4, Example 11. All right, so we are doing word problems with tricks. This is number 11, which is a sports-related question. David is building a bike ramp. He wants the angle that the ramp makes with the ground to be 20 degrees. If the board he wants to use for his ramp is three and a half feet long, how tall will the ramp need to be at its highest point? We have a picture of the ramp that David is wanting to make, so let's scribble all over the, pic the picture. All right, so right now the information we have is that he wants the angle that the ramp makes with the ground to be 20 degrees. So here's the ground, here's the ramp. So he wants this angle to be 20 degrees. Fantastic. If the board he wants to use for his ramp is three and a half feet long. Okay, so let's grab a different color for the ramp. So here is the ramp that he wants to use, the actual physical ramp. And it looks like it's already written here neatly for me to be three and a half feet long. I'm gonna treat that into a decimal just to make it a little easier for calculations, but we can definitely work with fractions if we need. And here's where it's found in the word problem that the board he wants to use is three and a half feet long. The question, going to my highlighter, is how tall will the ramp need to be at the highest point? That's this distance over here. So as we're looking at this problem, we're really trying to figure out the measure of this side over here. I have one side length and I have an angle measure. This is a trig problem. So I'm gonna set up SOHCAHTOA so that way I can try to figure out which measures I have information on. I have the hypotenuse, which is listed right here. That's the ramp. I'm going to highlight all the H's in SOHCAHTOA in green. And then the side that I colored in pink, the one that's labeled X, the, the height of the ramp, is directly across from the angle that this ramp is making. So that's the angle opposite. So I'm gonna highlight in pink all of the opposites. And the only trig function that has both items highlighted is the sine function. So I'm gonna write down that trig function that is the sine of theta, which is my reference angle, is equal to the side opposite that angle divided by the hypotenuse. The angle, reference angle, has a measure of 20 degrees. The side opposite that is my unknown x, and the hypotenuse is three and a half feet, or 3.5. I have to solve this equation for x. Right now, what's happening to the x is a division sort of thing. So in order to undo division, I'm gonna use some multiplication. What am I dividing by? 3.5, so that is what I'm gonna multiply by. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And on the left-hand side, we get 3.5 times the sine of 20 degrees. And on the right-hand side, this divide by 3.5 cancels with this multiply by 3.5, leaving us with just the value of x. And so x, or how high the ramp is off the ground at the end, is found by taking my calculator and typing in literally exactly what we see here, which is 3.5 sine 20 degrees. Just make sure that your calculator is in degree mode, because if it's not in degree mode, you're gonna get the right answer just in a different unit, and so the numbers are gonna be weird for this context. My calculator spits out to four decimal places 1.1971. Because the original measurement was given to me in fractions, I'm going to turn this into a fraction. So I know that I have one, and now I need to turn this number into a fraction. I'm going to round it to the nearest tenth, so it's going to be a 0 0.2. 0 0.2 as a fraction is 2 over 10, and then simplified, reduce that down, it gives me one-fifth. So one and one-fifth foot 
is how tall the ramp will need to be at its highest point in order for David to have a three and a half foot ramp that is a 20 degree angle from the ground. Thanks for joining me. See you in class.